my lovelies welcome to the next in the series of Halloween rocks from Tough Rocks HQ this week we're going to be having a look at the other featured rock on the front of this publication that I mentioned in last week's tutorial and it's the little scarecrow there he is again if you're interested in this publication I'll put a link for purchase and details in the description box below. Now you can have any shape rock that you want for these little scarecrows but I do try to find the sort of triangular shape ones because then you can get a little bobble hat on top but it doesn't matter as you'll see from the publication there's, there's round ones in there and they work out just fine. So find the right rock, use your imagination and let's start the project so because this little scarecrow is going to have a hat on what I'm going to do is paint up to about here in a lighter brown and then his hat in a darker brown and I am not going to give this an undercoat so let's get right on and get painted What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for this to dry and before I paint the hat on I'm going to paint some straw for his hair. So once this is done I'll get on with that and then we'll paint the hat in. Now that the hat and the face and the hair and everything is nice and dry, I'm going to give him some features. We've got some big black eyes. The good thing about these is they don't even have to be perfect. So if they're not the same size, that's good. happy with those I'll color those in in a moment then I am going to give him a big orange nose yeah that's gonna need a second coat and I'll do his mouth with a fine liner now before I do the patches and detail on his hat what I'm going to do is put the knitted detail on there all right let's get some detail on here so a big line across the bottom another line just above now you've got a choice you can either put some ridges on here or leave it plain I'm gonna leave the top half plain and just put a rib pattern on this part here now that might look a little bit boring but we're going to add some details on there so I'm just waiting for his nose to dry so I can color it in again and until then I will just go and do the eyes as you can see in the book there are lots of different designs that you could try or you can even make up your own so don't forget the details of this book is in the description box below the link for that so his mouth doesn't have to be straight if he's all wibbly wobbly that's fine I started off with a little kiss in the middle and it was just some lines here and about to make it look like it was stitched. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start decorating the hat 
and then we'll come back and we'll put some fine detail in. We're going to have a little patch here. This is definitely going to need more than one coat because the dark brown is very dark. So there's the base. We will come back and do that. I'm also going to put a few flowers on. So here's the middle of the flowers. If you remember from previous videos, it's just a little dot with five or so petals around. You can put as many as you like. They might also need a second coat and I might even put a few more on there. I think I will. So before I put any more details on there, I'm going to wait for everything to dry, give it some extra coats, and then I'll be right back with you. So here he is, almost done. I'm just going to put some detail on. And what I want to do is I'm hoping to use a little bit of colour. Normally I just go around the outline of a patch like this in black and do some stitches. So I will actually go around the patch in black but I really want to do the stitches in another colour. Alright so I don't know if this is going to work. Like I said normally I would do the stitches in black but let's give it a go. Seems to be working. Doesn't look too bad actually. I quite like that. Huh, awesome. Okay, so next I'm going to go around his nose. And I don't know if this brown is going to show up really good. Yes. Now these ones are going to have black stitches. And some little dots for eyes. There he is. Check him out. He's so fantastic. I do love these scarecrows. They're so simple. They are just absolutely amazing. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, please don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Please help us out by checking out any of the links in the description box below. Until next time guys, have a spooktacular Halloween. Ciao for now.